what the callers have been saying, this is why I had him tee up leave. Lee, uh, help me out here, brother, and I'm not putting my tinfoil hat on, but Milwaukee is directly related to what's going on in Twin Falls, Idaho, and what Tim in Ohio is talking about. And here's the reason. Unemployment is so high in the inner city. It's 50 or 60 percent uh, with young African-American males. One of the reasons is we have unlimited illegal immigration to compete for jobs with those folks, right? And that is what Chobani's about. The callers know that Chobani's, you know, the, the, the crony capitalists are up to their necks in Chobani. Lee, am, am, uh, do I have my tinfoil hat on this morning, or can you see the connection? No, you're exactly right. It's also the reason, for instance, that STEM wages, people who've gone into science, technology, you know, engineering, have remained flat for, you know, a decade or more. Uh, uh, well, Lee, I'm told that's why there's no art history. That's why there's no culture. That's why there's no music. That's why there's almost no sports in public schools now. It's all STEM, 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 STEM. These young kids coming in, out of Hispanic and black kids coming out of the out of the school system, they're told that the promised land is to get a STEM job. You're breaking my heart. You're telling me STEM jobs have been flat for what ten years? Yeah, that, that's absolutely correct. And, and, and why works, is that, Mr. Why is that, Mr. M- Mr. Stranahan? Is that is that holy? Is that just something? Is that the physics of the universe that caused that? What caused that, sir? Well, look, what, what's happening here is that, uh, you know, it's, it's globalism, let's put it that way. Uh, there's a combined set of forces that are beating up on the American worker worse than the Boston Red Sox beat the Yankees in 2004. Whoa. And here's the thing, Steve. Uh, by the way, as a Red Sox fan, that was the high point of my <laughs> life. Um, but what's happening here, and you see it in Twin Falls, and you see it in places like, like Milwaukee, People are angry. People here on the right are angry in Idaho, and people on the left are angry in places like Milwaukee. The problem is they don't see that they actually have more in common. They actually have a common enemy. And unfortunately, the common enemy is both Democrats and establishment Republicans who set up the system. Is, are, are people, tonight there's going to be a, tonight there's still going to be the town hall meeting in Twin Falls? Is that still scheduled? Well, they have a city council meeting every Monday. And this one is going to be raucous because, as we reported over the weekend, uh, it looks like Greg Lanting, who's a city councilman and former mayor here, uh, attacked the parent of the five-year-old girl who was uh, attacked. He, he's not. A, he's not a fan of your. He's not a fan of your reporting or our news site, is he, sir? Uh, well, he's talked about fake fake internet news. I don't know. Who, I, I, I assume he's not talking about me, of course, but. Uh, but uh, he's talked about fake internet news, and he went out and viciously attacked the parents and dishonestly, and said, for instance, the father had nothing to do with the uh, the daughter. That's a complete lie. I've been over to the apartment. I've met the five year old who was attacked. I've met the parents, hung out with them. Uh, that is completely untrue. Talk to people. That's completely untrue. And and so uh, they have you know public time at these city council meetings. And I predict you're going to see people uh, talking to the city council. Now, here's what happens, though. The city council doesn't have to answer. They can just sit there and stare right back. So uh, luckily, these meetings all get videotaped, and I believe they go up on, you know, public access TV. So we should have some good video coming out of uh, the uh, city okay. council meeting. Uh, uh, Lee, I'm, <clears throat> we're going to pivot in a second. Let me go to Jeff in Georgia. Jeff in Georgia. you got Lee Stranahan, Kurt Schilling, Mad Bull, Stephen K. Bannon. How can we help you, brother? Uh, good good morning, fellas. Uh, man, what a what a heck of a day I sent a host to talk to this morning. <laughs> I get a permanent membership in the Breitbart News and Hobbit Club. Okay. But at the start off, I'd like to say this. Uh, Friday, we had a sheriff's deputy in Dodge County, which is Eastman, Georgia. He was responding to a call Friday afternoon, and when he stepped out of the car, they shot him in the head with a, with a high-powered rifle. Um, this was a district got a black guy in custody for the shooting right now, I, I, and I heard, hadn't heard anything about it on the news down here until uh, finally, uh, late yesterday afternoon, it was Friday, but it was because of people calling the news media down here. They don't want to report this stuff. And uh, as for that meeting every Monday out there in Twin Falls, I think Donald Trump needs to hijack that meeting and pull into that meeting and, and then just let him go to attacking those 
uh, city council members, and let's see if their local police department has the balls to put Donald Trump in jail. <laughs> let's just see, because Donald Trump, you know, we won't just shake that apple cart. He'll flip that one upside down and stomp the damn bottom out of it. <laughs> Y'all have a good day, fellas. Jeff and Georgia, thank you very much. Lee, uh, by the way, Lee, you, 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 let's go to Milwaukee, and we can tie that back to the Are these, you know, Brandon was on earlier, are police, you just heard the story down in, uh, in, in Georgia, are police being targeted now for assassination? Well, we, yeah, we know. I mean, this has been very, very clear for over a year now since we had two police officers shot uh, in New York, well over, you know, about a year now. Yeah. And immediately Black Lives Matter was out in the streets saying pigs in a blanket fly them like bacon. But this has been clear for 50 years. The Black Lives Matter movement is a continuation, in their own words, of the, it's a way to reignite the Black Liberation Movement. The Black Liberation Movement was the Black Panther Party in 1966, the Black Liberation Army in the 1970s, and they killed cops. The Panthers killed 15 cops, the Black Liberation Army killed about 18 cops, and the hero of the Black Lives Matter Movement is Asada Shakur, who's in Cuba, in exile right now, for the murder of a, a New Jersey state trooper. So this is a movement. Lee, why did I never hear that when you talk about Black Lives Matter and Hillary Clinton has them and, and, and Obama's talking about them? Why does the media never mention that fact? Why is it Breitbart that continues to go back? And by the way, the Black Lives Matter guys, correct me if I'm wrong, they're not shy about talking about that. They're proud of that, are they not, sir? They're 100% proud of it. There's video of uh, of uh, Patrice Cullors and Opal Tometi, two of the founders. These are the founders of Black Lives Matter, talking about Asada Shakur. Look, go to the Twitter page for Black Lives Matter. It's a quote from Asada Shakur on their top panel there. That's what it is. So they're not at all shy about it, but the reason this doesn't come up, let's be blunt, is the media is the enemy. Donald Trump nailed this. This is a fight against the media you can think about the number of insane things steve you remember after the uh, orlando pulse shooting i mean we forget this now but the media spent about a week talking about whether the shooter was was gay and the republicans made him use we spent like a week of the news cycle on that insanity and you can just go over it and go back and go, wait, they want us to believe what? When, when you know, this imam and his associate get shot in New York, immediately they put out an APB for Donald Trump. That's, that's what happened. They immediately blamed the Trump. First, the first, the first thing that happened on thing. Okay, before we wrap up, you're going to do, are you live streaming? What are we going to do tonight? Uh, Lee, we got to jump. What are we going to do tonight on the uh, on the town council meeting in Twin Falls? We've had people calling from 530, Lee, I bet you're reporting. So what are we going to do tonight? You're going to live stream that? You're going to be there, no doubt, correct? I'm going to be there. Yeah, we're not going to live stream it because they, they do a good job of videotaping it. But we have a piece coming that talks more about Chobani and particularly about uh, the caller was great who called in earlier. Yeah. Particularly about how Chobani, people talk about boycotting Chobani. We're going to talk about how Chobani was actually saved by a, a sort of obscure policy change that made yogurt a protein. Okay, okay but this okay, okay this this is going to be huge and but by the way but Schilling, I, this goes back to what Lisa we're going to connect some dots here this is what Lisa's talking about she does not want her country the United States of America to go where Latin America is Chobani that's why Twin Falls we have Lee Stranahan and others going out there all the issues in this campaign are in that small town and this is one this is the election where, right this here. is the election right here and here's why yeah. Stranahan just brings it up and Lisa nailed it this is how you become a third world country is you start acting like a banana and a republic where the political class and the business class are doing favors with each other as epitomized well, by the Clinton global initiative. they're forcing refugees on the city of Twin Falls uh, in, 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 to the point where now... Uh, 10%. This was a story from Michael Patrick Leahy last week, and I think this is the, probably one of the most important stories we've done in the last two months, is 10% of the police department Stunning. in Twin Falls, Stunning. Idaho, is now uh, refugees. There are 72 police officers, seven well, of them Well, they're Muslims from, 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 from Bosnia, From right? Bosnia, yeah. And so this is, it, it's astounding. They're, I mean, you want to talk about civilization, and never, jihad, and, and this never, is and, it. And, and, right and never became right a topic here. until Breitbart got their arms around it. Mr. Schilling, so we're not, what's we're, you? We're not listening. The world is showing us. Democratic socialism does not work. Look at South America and all of the things. Ha they're, they're collapsing. And these the people coming from these countries are telling us, listen, I don't want to go back there. It's You're seeing it happen all over Europe now. Immigration is destroying. Illegal immigration, well, it's not illegal because of, of, of the European nation. It's destroying. It, why do you think 
in my opinion, Brexit, the rem- the leave one because their country is being taken away from yep. them. Yep, by the by Belgium and the corporate class. Okay, Lee uh, Stranahan, thank you very much, brother. We'll look for the story. Lee Stranahan will also be at the town council meeting, the city council meeting in Twin Falls. And guess what? It's going to be a national event. And you know why? Because Lee Stranahan and Breitbart News are there. 